Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. We have another What's Old video for you today. This is uh, Thursday, April 8th. We're gonna go ahead and follow Kathy around to see what's old. Hello. All right, let's start with Mercari today. So AD. I saw this Franco Peyton Manning jersey. It's like a two-tone. It has the orange and the navy. Um, I just thought it was a cool jersey. Chris doesn't think it's a cool jersey. <laughs> I think he likes a solid color, but um, I did pay $8.99 for that. I don't know why. That was probably too much, but it ended mm -hmm. up selling for $20 plus shipping, so not quite doubled my money. $8.99. I might have close to doubled my money after the fee, but probably would not pick that up again. I just, I'm not big into sports stuff. Yeah. We, we sell jerseys, but we don't have amazing luck with it, right? Yeah. They seem to take longer than... Especially, like, specific player like. type stuff. Like, somebody has to... And Manning is not even playing anymore, so... Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not good at sports stuff. Um, this is just a childhood sweatshirt. That was my son's. It sold for an offer I accepted, 24 plus shipping. I bought this off Kittizen a long time ago for 30 and it's been listed for a long time, so my kid got some wear out of it. I make twenty dollars and some change back. I'm happy with that. Uh, BV. This is something I bought for myself, but it didn't fit. It's just a grumpy sweatshirt. I like grumpy stuff. <laughs> like all the Snow White door stuff is like my favorite. But didn't fit i think i bought that for 18 off mercari and ended up selling it back on mercari for 16 plus ship that was an offer i just accepted because it's not in the best shape the person that i bought it from i think said excellent condition but it had a lot of wash wear and some fading so all right and then bi sold both of these but on two different platforms so we'll do one really quick um they're little baby keen size five uh these ones sold on kid is in for 22.50 plus ship i have about nine dollars into them and those must be the exact same size because they're in yeah. the same box so. so they're both size fives and both brand new i'm yeah. assuming yeah. yeah without box they were nordstrom rack like clear the rack fine so if there was any difference with those we would have kept them in separate boxes that's just why i'm pointing that out <laughs> so that we wouldn't mix them up confused all right uh then cc we had one poshmark sale today and this was it i mean so i've had this since my birth i got this on my birthday up in denver at the mm -hmm. goodwill bins the same one i got all those bras it's just a disney and mickey mouse like neck and so since it's been listed since November, the first offer I got was $8. I just took it. Mm -hmm. um, I technically have $0 into it because by the time we typed in our inventory from that day, I had already sold enough to pay for like the $30 haul. So I've just typed everything else in at zero cost of goods. So I made five oh five dollars on it after the Poshmark fee of two ninety five. dollars So that's like five free dollars. I mean, <laughs> it's better than sitting in a box, right? Yeah. All right, actually, B2. B2, that's an old one. This is so old, and I do not know why <laughs> these didn't sell. Um, the brand is, it, they go by, like, Mima. It's Mini and Maximus, but Mima for short. Mm. It's organic cotton, like, kids' clothes. They're really cute shorts. I don't know why they took so long to sell. I've been dropping the price every month for, like, a year or more. And, yeah, finally they sold for Twelve dollars plus ship. That's an offer I sent out. I bought them probably two years ago off Kitizen for twelve ninety nine. So I still made most of my money back. Just took forever, and I bought those for my son. So if you're new here and like you're <laughs> like, why is she buying something for twelve ninety nine to sell for twelve? It we sell our kids' stuff mm -hmm. and our own stuff too. So any money we can make back is good right to us. If we buy it to use it ourselves, we we buy it at a higher price point with the expectation of at least breaking even or getting close to breaking even. We're not trying to profit off of those yeah. every time. Sometimes you can, right? Yeah, so $12 but, plus ship. I probably make about 10 after the yeah. eBay fee, so that's pretty good for a pair that of is. shorts. After using them too. So. Yeah. And then those other pair of jeans sold for 
uh, $24.47 plus shipping on eBay. And again, I have about $9 into them. All right, so DC. Something we just listed yesterday, I think. On um, that Colorado Rockies sequin tank top that I showed in my estate sale haul from the other day. Mm -hmm. Uh, so their tank tops at estate sales are only a dollar, but since I averaged my cost of goods that day, everything came out to two seventy six. So two seventy six into that, and it sold for thirteen thirty one plus shipping. Um, I would have listed it for more, but when I was photographing, you can see like a line of sequins right there. Uh, no. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So it, there's like, like five or six, six or yeah sequins missing. So I, I listed it. it at fifteen plus ship instead of twenty, and then we have a sale running. I would have did 20 if it was in great shape. Right. Just disclose it. Just make sure you make it You're very still, obvious. Still buy stuff with flaws. Um, AK. Probably right behind me. AK. That's been listed a while too. Um, these are Reeboks. They're like a steel toe or composite toe at least. And they sold for $35.56 plus shipping. I did buy these for $12.99. So that was kind of a lot, but a decent sale overall um i've sold these before a few times but like in women's these are men's i thought they'd do better but the women's ones i sold sold really fast and these i don't I'm curious how long i've had them because it feels like forever and i've gotten so many like low offers on them but because they're like composite toe they retail for a lot uh where am i yeah like november so i guess not super long five months that's longer than I thought that they would take yeah. to sell. All right, and then these ones I've had listed since December of 2019. Let me see, need sleep, dude. <laughs> I need you to move, though. He wants a belly rub. <laughs> Reese, hey, you gotta move, dude. Come here, Reese. I really can't open. Reese, get this box open. Reese, <laughs> Reese, come here. A oh, good boy. You're a good boy. Sorry, Bubba. We had to wake you up. All right. So these are some Kenneth Cole, like, dress shoes. I just thought they were unique and interesting, and usually that sells, but these didn't until yesterday. Yeah. Um, They were, like, in perfect condition. I don't know. I won't pick them up again, but I thought they were cool. I did pay $10.99 for them, again, back in December of 2019. And they finally just sold for 20 plus ship. When I saw I had a watcher, I was just going to send them an offer. Enough to get my money back. And yeah, <laughs> so probably not profiting much at all off of those, but I'm very happy to see them go. Last sale. Are you angry, Reese? <laughs> Another pair of these Croc sandals. These ones sold for 22 21 plus ship, and I had $9 into those. That was the last yeah. one you said? Yes. For now, we'll go ahead and get this stuff all packed up, ready to go, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got those packed up, and we did have a couple more sales, right? Yeah. Well, we had at least one that canceled a couple minutes after, but other than that, we, we had, had three, one canceled. Two more, so yeah. CF was another eBay sale. pair of youth Jordans and they sold for $26.66 plus shipping and I have $4.64 into those. The other thing is these Curly Swim Chunks. They sold for $23 plus shipping. I have $8 into these. So. Oh, those ones sold on Mercari. On Mercari. Yeah. So we're probably gonna go ahead and pack those up off camera. And then I think we're just gonna add this into, or add tomorrow's sales into today. So we'll go right into tomorrow's. All right, guys. Yeah, so it's mostly eBay today and then one Poshmark, which makes sense because we're only listed to eBay for the last two weeks. Yeah. And we said we were gonna keep doing a little something on other platforms, <laughs> but other than like sharing the Posh Closet and promoting items on Mercari, I haven't really done yeah much of anything so anyways we'll go through what did sell so these actually i listed last night and they both sold this morning to the same person but she like bought them she paid shipping on both and everything so i need to refund her part of that because 
Um, anyways, <laughs> this is a tiny whale shirt, and then so is this. Um, but yeah, she paid $14.95 per shirt plus $3.99 shipping per shirt. So she also lives in Colorado, so the shipping's gonna cost me mm -hmm. like $3.40 mm -hmm. to ship both, and she paid like $8. I'll refund her at least four bucks. And yeah, um, so these actually, uh, Tiny Whales is just like a small shop type brand. They have a shop on Kittism where they've been selling mystery bundles and everyone's been showing theirs on the Facebook page and they all looked really good to me. So I was like, oh, I'll buy one. There were $35 for five items. I only liked one item that I got. So, you know, it's a mystery. You don't know what you're going to get and it's just kind of taking a chance. So I figured whatever I didn't like, I could just sell, which obviously I did. So I paid 35 for the bundle, basically already made 30 minus fees back on these two shirts. So I have one more shirt I'm selling. I did keep, I kept two even though I only liked one. One of them had like a spot. The stain. It was, they're new, but like, um, it's like their, what is it, sample tees and stuff. So they could have spots and they said that in the listing. So one yeah. of them did. I liked the shirt, it just has a spot on it. So I'll keep that for my kids for playing around in the parks. Mm -hmm in the summer and yeah i'll definitely make my 35 dollars back once i sell the other t-shirt so if you like mystery <laughs> boxes you can uh, join kid in with our code and you'd get five dollars off um you could just search up tiny whales and yeah they have a bunch of sizes both mm. genders and everything like that so all right that was a long-winded story <laughs> for a two-shirt sale <laughs> uh, other than that we got box q here i sold a sensi buggy Oh, by the way, our code is GINGER, if I didn't say that for kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just GINGER, all caps. You'll get $5 off, and I get a small kickback as well. All that info is down in the description. Yeah. <laughs> if you do have any issues with it, let us know. And... Um, so this is a Scentsy Buddy. This one didn't sell for a ton, but I love picking these up. They usually yeah. sell really fast, definitely within the first 30 days, and some of them can sell for a good amount. This one sold for $13.31 plus shipping. It did have a scent pack with it, and it's just an elephant, but, like, if you find Disney or anything, like, I found bat ones that go for, like, 30 plus, so definitely be on the lookout for these. The way you can tell, their feet always say that little scentsy on it. Mm. And, yeah, they all have a zipper on the back to where you put the scent pack in. I did pay $2.99 for this one, so not the hugest sale, but I just will always pretty much pick those up if they're in good shape. All right, so DH... I was going to say, you said earlier that we haven't done much of anything. That's just as far as listing goes, well, right? Yeah. I mean, right? We've been busy. We're we've working been, a lot. It just doesn't been, ever look like it. <laughs> today, we've been processing a lot of inventory, getting ready to list. So, yeah. Just haven't been able to get the listings up as <laughs> much as we were hoping. Yeah, so, this is the brand Magnificent Baby. And these are... Um, the closure right here that you see is magnetic, so these sell really well. Um, mm. This is the first time, this is like a towel romper, so basically what you'll throw on over your kid's swimsuit in the summer, but the other ones I've all sold from the brand are just like footed sleepers and stuff, but yeah, anything that has that magnetic closure mm -hmm. for baby clothes is going to sell really well, because who yeah. wants to zip, well zip's not too hard, but like the snaps. Mm -hmm when you have to change your baby in the middle of the night and stuff, so. Well, and is that a that safety brand. thing too? The magnets. I don't know if it's a safety thing. I think it's just more of just like a yeah, convenient type yeah. thing, so. People spend good money on baby stuff for convenience. And just like we were talking about the zippity zips in our yeah. thing, people want their baby to sleep, so they're willing to pay for that. Yep. All right, and then BC. these men's Tiva sandals. I paid $8.99 for these at Goodwill. Sold them for $31.11 plus shipping. And box T, this was from Nebraska. I kind of just picked these up on a whim. I thought they'd do well, but I haven't sold anything like it before. They're just the Calvin Klein denim shorts for men. Um, they sold fast, so I paid $3.49 for those. They sold for $25 plus shipping in the first month that they were listed. So. And those were vintage? Um, I called them vintage. I think they were just, I don't know, other listings did say it. Just this, like, leather patch looked like a vintage. Um, 
the on inner it. tag. It wasn't like made in the U.S. and it wasn't a paper tag, but I definitely think they were old. So. It was certainly a vintage style, right? Like, yeah. So that brings up a question to our <laughs> viewers: Do you think it's okay to use vintage as a keyword <laughs> when it's style related? So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. I'm curious. I know some people get really mad about it. Like this is not 20 years old, so I'm selective with what I say. Is this DL all the way down here. <laughs> Someone needs to buy these pots so that we can get them up. Huh. Oh no, that's not even it. That's DJ. Oh, DL is very top. Oh, all that work for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, they used to sell. I think I only have two, but um, you guys see we sell these swimming trunks like pretty much all day, every day. This pair is Lucky Brand, so that's the first of these to sell. It sold for $22.21 plus shipping. I did pay $8 for those on Marshall's Yellow Tag Sale. And box H. another pair of these croc sandals these ones sold for 22 21 plus shipping as well and i had nine dollars into those Whew. and last but not least that poshmark sale is actually hot reese found a good spot for himself Daddy? <laughs> that's better than <laughs> all right so this is just a wagner wear magnolite pot um, it was pretty pitted on the inside, you can see. So yeah. I don't remember getting this at the bins, but my um, spreadsheet told me I got it from the bins as part of my stimulus check challenge. So I feel like I need to go watch the video to make <laughs> sure I'm not lying. But it's almost like yeah. it's been so long since, since we've done a stimulus <laughs> check challenge video. I do remember getting some Revere Wear pots there and then some extra lids, even though I didn't find the pots for them just to have. But yeah. I don't remember getting this one there, but... I probably did because I don't think I would have picked it up in this condition at the regular Goodwill because they would have charged like five bucks. So. Yeah. Anyway, so I have around a dollar into it then and it sold for 20. Plus so, ship? Yeah. Or? Um, Poshmark. Oh, so Poshmark yeah, shipping. shipping. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So. so we'll go ahead and get this stuff all packed up, ready to go. All right, we got that stuff packed up and we realized we didn't. Uh, oh, yeah. We didn't mention the price or anything on so this. So that, um, the magnetic one, I got distracted talking about how cool it was. Uh, <laughs> I didn't tell you. It sold for seventeen seventy six plus shipping. I got this in Nebraska at the Once Upon a Child for three fifty. dollars so. so, yeah, we didn't have any more sales come as we were packing those up. Mm -hmm. But let's see what we've got this week oh, so this far. This is my board, so we're still obviously not at where I'd like to be. But we did make some good progress this week, so... Uh, in the last two days, I've listed, what's that, 20, 40, 50 60, items. 50. 50, yeah. Sorry, my math, <laughs> So in the last two days, we did 50. I still have, like, nine more on my drafts, like, already ready to go that I'll definitely have by the end of the day. And I just sent Chris, I think, 10 more items to draft for me, and then I can get those up pretty quick as well. So I'm still hoping by the end of tomorrow I'll at least be at 100 here, or maybe even 105 so we can offset the five I didn't do yeah. last week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm about 800 short of where I'd want to be at $3,000 of listed inventory, so. But we have been doing a lot of JBF stuff, yeah, right? Um, Last week we did JBF and then <laughs> beginning of this week was Easter and drop-off. Today we've drop been off. cleaning, well Chris has, I've been listing, but Chris <laughs> has been cleaning, what, 10 pots? Yeah, 10 um, pots and pans. We got a, still that bucket of hats that we're going to get cleaned up. We have a whole, like, ikea bag of shoes that either just need a little bit of leather conditioning or a good scrub yeah. um so yeah once that's done we'll get those listed but i still i have a ton of lists still so <laughs> and ready to go so i definitely will get to at least 100 I think this if, week. yeah if we can get our past two weeks up to 100 a week average maybe go hard next we week. can go hard next week we're really gearing up with enough listings to be able to go hard at least mm -hmm. next week. And I might start cross posting a little bit from what we did. Yeah. I might start cross posting this weekend for our two weeks from eBay thing. Cause yeah, these listed that you see again are only to eBay so far. And I just really want to get cross posting <laughs> cause as much as I love seeing all my sales on eBay, I still do 
miss selling stuff on the other platforms every day. So yeah. you're weird. No, I'm, I'm not weird. <laughs> now we we do plan on definitely continuing and using List Perfectly because it really does. We would not be making as many sales as we have this past two weeks without cross listing if we hadn't already had them cross listed. Um, today was probably our most severe eBay only day, right? Yeah, and like you can see, we have less packages than normal. Like last month, yeah. our average was 15 a day through the whole month. Um, this month so far, last time I checked a few days ago, was like 13 a day. But right here is only like, what, eight? So yeah, definitely decreasing in general. But obviously, after a while, that would pick up once we get more and more listings up. Yeah. So we're just trying to figure it all out. I, <laughs> I still like what we're doing so far, um, and I'm excited to see once I do get cross posting. I'm not going to do like how this week we did or this day we did 40. Obviously, a lot of those have sold off, but I'm not going to do 40 in one right. day. I'm probably going to do like 10 to 15 because with List Perfectly, I can put, I'd say, less than a minute an item per platform and we're doing three platforms so if i'm doing 10 items times three minutes what is that 30 minutes mm -hmm. so essentially if i do 10 items a day that's only 30 minutes so i might do 15 mm -hmm. or so just be we'll probably play it more like that like just getting a certain amount done or a certain yeah, time I done i still want to always do new listings and then if we well. if we notice that we're getting you know if we're cross listing too much we can easily just take a day off of cross listing right so or if we haven't cross listed enough we can easily go in and cross list more yeah. what we need to figure out is the thing about like i don't know in our spreadsheet it's not obvious it's obvious what we've listed only to ebay but mm -hmm. not like what day because we don't really we don't track our we don't listing say day what day that we listed it right yeah. and so we kind of got to figure that out. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be hard. I also want to see how many of what we've listed has sold. And the only way I can do that at the moment is to just look at them myself and be like, yeah, that was new, new, new. Yeah. But I guess we could probably look at the listing that on eBay. It'll tell us how many days it's been listed, right? Yeah. And so what do we So 95 plus 84 is what? 95 plus 84. 179 listings. Yeah, I'm curious how many of those have sold in just the first week or two. Yeah. So, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, 50 of those listings went up today and yesterday, so. Yeah, those. Um, I think maybe one of them is. I'm not sure. <laughs> but <laughs> we did like want to <laughs> give you a heads up of our JBF sales, right? Because it's going on as we're working here. Things are still selling away at Just Between Friends consignment sale. Yeah, so... So you just ran a report, right? Yep, yeah, let me just refresh it, but I doubt anything more has sold. Oh, one more item. One more <laughs> sale. <laughs> uh, yeah, so again, 60% is what we're taking home. I'm clicking zero fee because they don't have the actual fee amount here, but I'm just subtracting with my brain. <laughs> uh, so we're at 762. My fee is going to be 40. So we're at 722 is the check I'm taking home right now. Um, but the sale goes tonight through 7 p.m. Tomorrow all day, and tomorrow's the half-off day where I expect a lot to sell, like a lot, yeah. a lot, because it's half-off, and I let almost everything go half-off because I don't want it back. <laughs> it's <laughs> the least amount of stuff I can bring back, the happier I am. So. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday is also a, another day, but only like a few hours, I think. So we're at 230 items sold. I want to be at least at 400, so hopefully... A lot of people buy my half off stuff. Because how many items did you bring? Around 800. 800. Like my thing said 810, but you know, some get lost and yeah. I never go. That's kind of why I want a, a fresh start because I don't have the time to go through and check one for yeah. one to see if I got everything back or not. Like if I lost a few things, I honestly don't really care. I don't bring anything that I'm like gonna yeah. die if it. If I don't Especially get nowadays. Stuff. Nowadays, we're using it more as a clearance yeah. option for us instead of doing like a yard sale, or just straight up donating them back. So. So yeah, um, um, whether whatever amount of items I bring back, we've mentioned we're gonna take to once upon a child, see what mm -hmm. they take. Uh, some of it's just old, and I don't think we'll ever sell honestly because yeah. it's probably five years old. And it's just not like in style anymore so that if i think it's never gonna sell i might keep it for our grad show this summer if we have one but after that it's just going to goodwill i'm never yeah. gonna i'm not gonna spend time retagging it 
I'm not going to spend time listing it online or anything like that. So. Yeah, we could probably do some kind of fill a bag option at a garage yeah, sale just to get rid of it and have people. On local marketplaces, too, we'll sometimes throw down like 20 items of the same size and be like 10 bucks for everything. Right. You know, and that way people can do what they want. They can pick and choose the. They yeah. have to take the whole lot, but right. they can decide for themselves if they want it all or what. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so far 230 items and just about. Seven hundred and twenty dollars cleared so I'm that that with gets two days. Two days left, right? Yeah, I'd like to take home at least a thousand bucks back. So we're expecting to at least break a thousand bucks on what we have there still, because the the next two days are going to be pretty. We're going to start seeing a lot more items being sold because they're half off. So some sometimes what what you're saying. The pre-sale is one of the busiest days, and then the half-off day the first day of the sale is when, like, pretty busy. Can come, yeah. But usually the middle days are. And they sold like maybe fifteen items today. Yeah, yesterday. they're the slower days. Yeah. In our experience, obviously, you know everybody's experience is different. I have noticed that a lot of the big stuff that we brought, like the we brought like a tricycle and like big items that we didn't really want to ship. That all sold off, yeah, and like electronic toys, and yeah, the toys sell really good there. Toys do really good. They are a pain in the butt to bring and separate and put them in the right spots, but they sell good. <laughs> so, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for these past two days of what solds. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you learned anything, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments. But uh, that is gonna do it for today. So, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.